A Harvard Med School doc by the name of Jerome Groupman wrote a lovely book called How Doctors Think. And he begins by saying, when you are engaging a patient, what is the number one source of evidence about that patient's problem? And he answers the obvious answer, duh, the patient. Uh, the patient won't use the right technical language, the signal to noise ratio won't be all that high, but in the course of a five or 10 or 15 minute discussion, you will pull out an incredible number of pearls. Okay, best source of information about a patient's ailment is the patient, comma. At that point, Groupman refers us or leads us to a research study that asks and then answers the following question. But I'm going to halt for three seconds in here while you think of what your answer is. How long is it before the doctor addresses you, sits down with you, how long is it before the doctor on average interrupts? And if you said 18 seconds, you got it exactly right. 18 seconds, and the doctor has interrupted with his opinion. Now, am I doing this little piece for you to trash doctors? Absolutely not. I'm doing this little piece to trash you. Uh, among the bosses who are watching this, uh, among any of us who are watching this, who are experts or professionals or what have you, I bet you the, um, that among the boss audience watching this, that seven out of eight are 18 second bosses. That is, it is so, oh my God, I've seen this before. This is what you should do before you even express what the problem is. Uh, so here's how, here's the segue. Uh, I have come to the conclusion, and you may argue that this is overstated, but I don't care whether you argue that or not. I believe it. The single most significant strategic strength that an organization can have is not a good strategic plan, but a commitment to strategic listening on the part of every member of the organization. Strategic listening to frontline employees, strategic listening to vendors, to customers. Uh, but, but because you see, I mean, I really hate MBA programs, but someday I'm going to have my own MBA program. And the number one core course in Tom's MBA program is going to be a two-part Half year each course called Strategic Listening 1 and Strategic Listening 2. The reality is you can teach listening, you can get better at listening, there's no issue about that, but guess what? It's like playing the piano, it's like becoming an actor, it's like learning to be an artist. It is a profession that has to be learned. And it is my opinion, as a leader or as a team member, that to a significant degree, your profession is listening. So think about it. Are you an 18-second manager? Bet you are.